Elf is easily one of the most popular Christmas movies of the 2000s and a movie I have personally seen probably about 20 times. And I've always wondered what it would be like to eat like Buddy the Elf. I think as kids we probably all had this vision that it would be the dream to just be able to put syrup and chocolate and candy on everything that you ate. But what if you truly ate everything that Buddy the Elf ate? Welcome to Mavetivity, where we combine movies and activities to create a brand new viewing experience. Oh, by the way, I'm Aves. And today I'm gonna be consuming everything that Buddy the Elf does, and it is quite an interesting list. I rewatched the movie last week to prepare and get a list of everything I would need and quickly realized that I misremembered a lot of the things that he eats. And as much as that made me question things, we're still gonna do it. I swear, every few minutes in the film, I just realized another thing that I had to consume and just got more and more scared to actually do this. But now I have all the stuff and it is time to finally eat everything. My girlfriend chewed this gum like 10 minutes ago and now I'm gonna chew it. And we have strawberry and we have some sort of mint. The flavor's already gone and the texture is very weird. It's different than if you chewed your own gum and then chewed it more, I think. There's like barely flavor on both of them and the flavor combination is terrible. It's not that bad, especially considering what's next. In hindsight, the chewed gum <laughs> It really probably wasn't that bad. But the elf is stronger than I, so I'm gonna use water as a chaser, I guess, to perfume. Three, two, one. Oh, it didn't spray! No, I was so ready and it didn't spray! <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we've all tasted perfume before, but it like shot to the back of my throat. <laughs> oh, of all the things I thought were gonna make me throw up, it wasn't that. Yeah, just don't do this. I don't know why I smelled it like it was gonna smell like anything. I think this is probably the most Buddy the Elf thing that he eats because who the hell would eat a cotton ball and enjoy it? At least he didn't enjoy the perfume. Oh, I can already like feel it in my mouth without it being in my mouth. Oh, it's not, uh, oh, there's like a terrible taste to it. I don't know if it's still just the perfume. Like that's fine. This is not. <laughs> okay, it's basically exactly what you'd imagine putting a cotton ball in your mouth and chewing it feels like. Really not that bad, but just a textural nightmare. I don't know how I've gotten to this point not thinking this was that bad of an idea, but now I'm just realizing how, how terrible of an idea this is, as I have to drink an entire two liter of Coke. Something that he does in like six seconds in the movie. Here we go. Oh, I've made zero progress. <clears throat> I feel like I drank so much of it and you can't even tell I drank any of it. Why don't you ever be like, hey, Avery, this is a bad idea. Cause he wouldn't listen. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I know, right? My burps aren't even gonna be as good as his either though because I'm not drinking it all in one go. But what if you combined all my burps together? Would that compare? <laughs> Yeah, still doesn't even come close. I wouldn't recommend this. It's very unhealthy and very painful. I was supposed to be wearing this the whole video, but I I took it off. And I was making pretty decent progress, obviously going much slower than Buddy does in the movie, but it was feeling pretty decent and then it wasn't. And I had to take a little visit to the bathroom. I threw up. up. <laughs> We're gonna call it there on the Coke. I did what? Probably 90% of it. It started off pretty good, but quickly fell off and then I threw up. Give it the old Buddy the Elf spirit, huh? Oh, they're mixing so interestingly. Ooh, it actually smells pretty good. Cheers. I mean, other than the noodles being cold because I cooked these before I started filming, it's pretty good actually. It, it kind of works. Well, to be honest, I, I would eat this. Honestly, it's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, that was good. Now we're gonna f it up. I can't complain about breakfast spaghetti. I said earlier that the cotton balls were probably the most infamous Buddy the Elf snack, but this is probably at least a close second, if not even more popular. And we'll get some gummy sharks going on there. And then a Pop-Tart. 
And in true Buddy the Elf fashion, I'm gonna mix this up with my hands and then eat it with my hands. Let's get a bite here. Let's make sure to get kind of everything in one bite. Cheers. It's honestly not that sweet <clears throat> for some reason. I don't understand why. It's kind of good. I don't think I'd eat it again. Especially with the gummies, they, they make it weird. It's just a vessel for syrup and candy and stuff to shove into your face. I can't be mad at that. He doesn't enjoy at all in the movie, but I do. It's really hot. It's coffee. I drink it every day. You know what? Well, I'm enjoying this. I kind of agree with Buddy that black coffee is not the best, so why don't we add a little bit of uh, syrup? That was a lot of syrup. See if this tastes any better. Oh, that is bad. I don't like syrup in my coffee. Oh God, that was terrible. Have you ever had that? I don't know if I put too much or what if that is gross. Oh, that just combines in the absolute worst way. I don't know if I just put too much. I probably just put too much syrup because Buddy seemed to enjoy that a lot, but I think I prefer the black coffee. Yeah, no syrup in my coffee, please. I wanted to watch the movie again to see if the experience of watching the movie after having eaten everything that we see him eat in the movie changed anything about watching it. And yeah, it basically made me cringe every time Buddy ate anything. Except weirdly enough, when he eats both different varieties of spaghetti, that part is not nearly as cringy as it was because I realized it's really not that gross and kind of appetizing. But the cotton balls, the perfume, even the chewed gum, the two liter, don't even get me started on the two liter, it all was just really hard to watch now. While I don't necessarily think it made watching the movie better, it did change my perspective on the movie quite a bit. I just hope it doesn't result in me not wanting to watch this around Christmas time anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like down below really helps us out as well as subscribing to the channel if you're new around here. We're coming out with a lot more of of these type of videos where I'm combining a movie and an activity or taking an activity inspired by a movie to see if that kind of makes the viewing experience any different in movies. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, keep watching movies and doing new things.